is the concept of the activities and the activity log. So I don't know how much people know about this or how many people use this feature, but it's a, it's a, a great way to create a chronology of important events in a case. Um, so when I add an activity, so they come here and I add an activity, activities touch a bunch of different things. Um, so when I add an activity in itself is its own object in the database. Um, but it also, the notes that you put into an activity will show up as case notes. You can associate time to an activity so it can create a um, time slip. Um, you can add documents to activities so they'll show up in documents. And you can add what I'll show here in a second is activity presets, which al allow you to automate tasks that happen as part of uh, an activity. So the way that I think of an activity is I think of it as a, as you would um, in you would diagram any sentence, right? It has an it has an object, it has an action, and then it also has potentially a venue. Um, so one of the important pieces of Legal Server's evolution and kind of continued growth is this concept between who the actor is in a case. Um, I think you know initially when we started, we didn't really distinguish. You just had clients, and they had you know you had adverse parties and things like that. But in the case of litigation especially, we need to know who our client is in terms of the relationship on the case, right? So if, if our client is the defendant in a case, then the things that we do will be different than if our client is a petitioner or, or a plaintiff in a case. So you see on the screen, for, the first thing you see is um, the different actors that we could associate with this action. So I'm gonna say that the petitioner who's the opposing party in this case, did something. So what did they do? Well, they could do, um, they could do a bunch of different things. I'll say that they filed something, right? So let's say that the petitioner in this case, who's the opposing party, filed, um, let's say, a motion to dismiss. So, so that's how it reads as a sentence. This, the petitioner filed a motion to dismiss. So based on that, the screen refreshed and it shows three possible tasks that are associated that have been set up in this demo site based on the fact that a petitioner who's the opposing party filed a motion to dismiss. And there's also a venue that's not showing here, but if you put in venue, the, these tasks could be different based on the venue. So if the petitioner filed a motion to dismiss in federal court, um, our response time may be different than if the petitioner filed a motion to dismiss in state court. Um, so, what so below here what you see is we've got the first task in parentheses is to file a response to the motion to dismiss so it has calculated that the due date of that is 30 days past today's date so the trigger date here is the date that this happened the the due date of this task is 7 21 2016 um I'm going to create this task because it says yes, but if I didn't want to create this task, I would mark it no, and then it would just go away. But I'll say I want to, and then if I click more, I can see that the people on the task are going to be listed to everybody who's assigned to this case is going to be a person who has to do the task. The type of task is to draft a pleading or a motion, the office, the program, and then if I wanted to send a reminder, I could, I could um, have it send a reminder as well. Um, so, so and I can put in notes about the task here as well. So that's task one. Task two is send a letter to the client. Um, and again, this one is uh, calculates at 10 days. So this wants it done on 7-1. If I decided I didn't want to do that, I would mark it no, and it would go away. It wouldn't create the task. But if I leave it as it is, defaults, then it will create the task. And then this one says meet with a supervising attorney as a task. Now, this one defaults to no because in this case, we don't typically do that, but that's something we might want to do. And if we say, yes, I want to meet with my supervising attorney, then it creates a task in five days to do that. So it's all of this is set in something called activity presets. So you can pre-program the system to set up whatever routines you want it to do in terms of that. Um, and then if I wanted to attach a document, like this would be a great place to actually attach the motion to dismiss that they that they filed, I could say yes, and then I could upload the document just like I could anything else. And then I could type, you know, these are my notes.
right? So I could, you know, type in whatever here. And then when I save it, we're going to have two tasks that have been created on this as well as the activity. So now if I look, you can see I use this case all the time for demos of this. Um, I've got on, on uh, 621, we file a motion to dismiss, and these are my notes. That's in the activity log. So I can see all the different activities that have been done. If I look at my case notes, I can see here are my notes for um, you know, motion to dismiss filed in district court. They're here. And then if I go to my tasks, I can see that down here, I've got all the different tasks that have been created based on, on that as well. So that's a list of all the tasks here that are on the case. And just since I mentioned it, I'll point it out here. Activity presets are done in admin. Um, and when you create an activity preset, um, you, that this is where you enter all of the information. Um, as to, and then you can add an event, a task, or a deadline to to the system here. So it's kind of similar to building a process in Legal Server. You give it a name, you select um, uh, any value, including NA, that, that ignores activity actor, specific values excluding NA, or spe specific values including NA. So if I say this, then I select whatever the actors are in the case that would trigger this. And then when I come down here to the activity action, I would say if, if, um, if they filed or granted or whatever, do this. And then the activity item, um, I could say, you know, whatever. So this is how you would control all of that. 